Have you upgraded your Dynamo graphs to the latest Dynamo version, Dynamo 2.13 and Revit 2023, and they look like this? Let's fix that. All right, so if you've upgraded your Dynamo graphs, you might have noticed that your nodes kind of gained a little bit of weight, perhaps. Now that's because the node change in Revit 2023. In order to fix this, you literally have to go in and move everything or hit Control L on your keyboard and get a result that's okay. Control L does a little bit more than just spacing out nodes. It kind of reorganizes them as well. So it's not my favorite thing to do. Um, so there's another way to do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this and reopen it. And let's take a look at another option. So in addition to an option on the forum to batch upgrade files to the new version, Monocle has a way to do this now. So in Monocle, the latest version on the package manager, we have a graph resizer. -er. Yeah, I like to name things a little cleverly. And what you can do is you can actually resize these things with some sliders. So let's go ahead and default these sliders to one. I'm going to change it to auto run. And now as you slide the slider, you will see that it does start to update and space out this graph really, really quickly. I tend to like to use 1.25 and 2.25. That seems pretty good for my uses. Uh, maybe 1.5 actually is a little nicer. Um, so yeah, that space that out. One thing that this does do is it will change your run mode to manual when it opens. And that's because we don't want it running while you're trying to resize nodes uh, at this time. So what we can do is we'll see, this is what the graph looked like before. We'll go to 1.5, 2.25, and now it's fixed. Once again, that's available in Monocle. Monocle is a view extension for Dynamo. I'll link a video overview below. That has a whole lot of different uses, a different things that you can do. And this graph resizer is one of the newest ones. Uh, I added it because I'm working in the newer versions of Dynamo, getting ready for AU and whatnot. And upgrading graphs sucks. So this helps it suck less, I guess. Um, so yeah, go get it, download it, and you should be able to upgrade your graphs and resize them and save a whole lot of frustration. So I hope that helps out. Let me know what you think below and uh, thanks for checking out the video.